Hello guys, do you want to create an explosion? I mean, do you want to create... <laughs> do you want to create... <laughs> I don't know what I have with explosion. Do you want to create smoke falling from a building like this? Okay, so this is your tutorial. This is where we left. We made a building that gets destroyed like so. This looks pretty good, but it doesn't have any type of smoke. So we make the simulation and we cache all the points to this file. Heap means the local file, $OS means this node name and $F means the number of frames. This building was made with some boxes. We can see it here. These are the boxes. There are boolean on the inside. They have some UBs. We had some, some fracture here. This is a custom fracture I made. It doesn't really matter how you shatter this as long as you do shatter it. And well, we had those uh, constraints here. We saw that on our, uh, one of our latest tutorials. And well, we obviously made the simulation. So we are here. And what should we do now to create the building, the debris or the building smoke? First of all, there is a really useful node that we should use after the unpack, which is called the resource. The debris source basically calculates the distance between two faces and the outer world if it's empty or not. Hence, if I have these two pieces of brick and they separate, we are going to have some points scattered on the surface uh, according to the velocity and according to a life attribute. So if we press play, we will see that some points start getting scattered here. So this is a really expensive um, simulation, but we're going to put one more zero here and we will do a file cache on the following uh, directory. I will call this a sim debris 01, b01, and we will click on save. Once we have this saved, we will have something like this. So what should we do now? We should, of course, do a wrangle. We should do a wrangle that says, okay, our density, our density will be equal to our age. Now that we have the density, we will create an attribute rasterize a volume at rasterize attributes this will create our volume i will set it to density and i will also add the velocity here it is so now that we have these two values we can check and we should always check that we have the velocity saved here now that we have this we will clamp we use the normal clamp coverage, we will blur it a little bit and we will set the voxel size to a relationship between these two values. This will make our life easier when it has when it comes to having uh, when it comes to adding resolution to our simulation. So I believe this is okay for the time being. It's fast and it has a really nice resolution. So we're going to press a null, which will be outsource. We will also create another null and we will create a time shift set to the frame, in my case, 116. And we will connect this to a DOP, DOP network here like so before continuing we will go to the unpack and transfer the velocity because we will need this value to create our collision geometry so let's create a bdb from polygons let's go here and, and press 04 i believe this is a nice resolution it's not that huge and we should fill the interior and we should add one value called velocity. The BDB name will be B 
and it will be a displacement velocity or acceleration. This will be a null called out a collision BDB. I will save this on the following path and we, we could also copy and paste this, it just doesn't matter. We will use the following name, remember to save and load from disk. You can see that the velocity is the, the fog, this will actually move our geometry uh, and displace it with velocity and our collision is the SDF. Okay, so now that we have these two things, we can actually create our simulation. So let's hop in. We don't have anything, so we're going to create a smoke object and we'll we connect this here and also grab this. Well, you don't have this, but you will copy and paste these values. I will explain this. This is really easy. Ignore these parameters and only focus on this. The B box is the box or the container of an object. It doesn't matter if the, the container is something like this, the box will be square. It will be something like that. So we can have the container uh, or we can read the container size on the X axis like so. And we just need to call it. Okay, so what we want to take the container from here, we want to, to grab the X size of the container from the first input, the number zero. This is exactly this one. Since this is constant, it will never change. See? This is perfect. Also, the box could be, instead of being exactly centered, it could be somewhere around here. And we need to move this. That's why we need another uh, attribute or another expression called centroid. We'll also grab the X size. And we will change here to Y size, Y size, set size, and set size nothing more save this it's really handy just press and save preset and save it as a default so now that we have this we will create a small solver and we will plug this in here we will go to projection to and to advection and use the bfecc these two technologies or these two algorithms create more realistic uh, swirl on the smoke. Let's create a dynamic, a realistic fluid dynamic on, connected to the press solve. Let's go to max bonds and untick this option. This will actually shrink on its own the simulation. Let's say that the delay will be one frame from the beginning and let's create a small, uh, a volume source. The volume source will be plugged here and we will actually grab the the out source, which is the smoke. Let's go to smoke source or smoke and we have everything here. It doesn't matter if we actually do something or not with the temperature since we don't have it. OK, so if we simulate this, we will see that everything simulates correctly, except that it, the box is actually clipping. So we should always check this on the source, on the main source. Now it works perfectly. It doesn't glide to the ground. It doesn't glide to the building because we still haven't set it up. So let's grab a merge. Let's grab a ground. Let's, let's, let's mix them both of them like this. The ground always needs to be on the second input, on the first input. Let's grab another merge and let's start creating our velocity fields. So let's grab a match field. And let's grab a scalar visualization. The scalar visualization will be set to visualize this. How? With plane. And we will use the field, or we will create a field based on our velocity. This field will be called velocity mask. And it will be set to bevel. See, now we have this grid, but we still cannot see it. So let's make an analysis. We want to make an analysis, a calculus from this. I will use the bell mask as our destination and will we use the velocity as our uh, field to calculate and we will actually calculate the length or the magnitude. You can hop in here and press 7. In, the, in my case you might need another value to see this better. If we hop in here 
we can untick density and watch how this actually behaves. Let's see again. These are the velocities. The red ones are the largest velocities. So let's ignore the round and let's untick the plane or the shell geometry. And let's see the density. Okay, so now that we have this, we can actually make a control field out of it and grab our turbulence. Our turbulence will be set to 0.2 and our control settings will be set to bell mask. We will remap this and press 7 since we already know this value from here. We'll also create a dissipate and we will put it on the input that comes before the turbulence. We'll set this to 0.1, 0.1 and nothing more. We will create one more node called gas to gas vortex confinement and we will plug it in here this will also use the velocity velocity mask field we will remap this to uh, seven we will place this confinement scale to two and actually this will be set to 10 and this to one this will create a really nice disturbance it won't be really hard on the simulation and it will look good Let's see how this looks. Let's go to seven, frame 72. Now we are talking about a really nice result. Let's go one frame before. Use Adobe Import Fields to see how this looks. Let's put it here and use Smoke to grab the smoke. Let's import our smoke and let's see how this looks. So we have a couple of problems. The resolution is really low. We have some cuts here, basically because the, it, it is really low. So, the resolution but it starts to it is starting to look okay so let's grab a visualize volume and let's grab density and density we can also merge it with our main simulation from here and we can see that this actually makes a little bit of sense so let's make our final tweak before increasing the resolution which will be copying this to cre create the collision this will be set to uh, collision we will grab uh, the collision bdb we want to enlarge the field but in this case it won't make any type of difference and everything looks fine from here we should increase the resolution i will set it to point 05 and I will create on my first camera which is this one from our latest tutorial and I will create this small so let's see how this looks I will go to frame 120 okay so this is how it looks after 120 frames there are some things that could be fixed obviously this is only a fast setup but with time you can create great things the thing that i want to change just to have a little more control is the following let's go inside and create a null i will delete this one okay so if we create a null and we go to our edit parameters interface and create um, float or integer whatever you want you can say this is going to be called mold this will be a like a global variable and we it is going to be set on one where we are going to copy and paste this where here let's multiply this here with the relative reference from this field and also here one thing that it changed is uh, these ramps I just moved them a little bit further so when the velocities strike we do not have so much um, effect on this part of the velocity this will be the lowest velocity and this will be the highest velocity it's just a little way to have a little bit more control on the simulation so let's actually animate this and let's animate this like this. Let's create anywhere, it doesn't matter. Uh, with alt click um, a keyframe, and let's set it to here and zero. We shift and let 
with shift and left click we could drag this anywhere with our middle class it's our <clears throat> with shift and left click and then middle mouse button we can drag this anywhere i'm going to drag it around 120 hours why because i really don't want the simulation to have so much turbulence after it already fell down it shouldn't have it in fact so let's see how this look if you enjoyed the tutorial please feel free to leave a like subscribe and even join our discord where i am always online and I answer every kind of feedback you want. So stay tuned and until next tutorial.